Alright, Shalom, Shalom, to the elect of the nation of Israel. Before I get started, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechakodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who lead, teach, and rule well. Love and honor to my fellow Akim, push the word in true faith and sincerity across the four corners. Shalom, peace and blessings to the sincere listeners who listen and subscribe to the Men and Doctrine of Great Millstone. This is the Belly of Dive and GMS Lenin Church coming with a lesson through the Spirit. Um, and it's going to be going into the famine of the word. Because um, here recently, a few days ago, I had a, a video in which, you know, in my opinion, it wasn't, uh, you know, inappropriate or, um, you know, out of line or, you know, just very, it, it, it seemed like a, you know, pretty regular uh topic you know now it did go into um tick it did go into uh Ticketmaster and uh the mark of the beast but um that particular video was flagged um and taken down um as he as as he put it for uh medical misinformation in which of course through the spirit we know that that a lot of uh that and things that we speak towards um those that are written in the scriptures and we understand through the spirit and um understanding given by prophecy we understand that we it's not misinformation that we're actually pushing forth the truth but this uh this uh instance and these types of instances uh especially going forward in which we're dealing with uh you know certain topics in which e wants to really have the people as a whole in the dark with it um with certain things that he's doing uh uh in the in the in the background will lead to uh an oncoming fam of the word man okay so i'm gonna start off with the book of amos chapter 8 verse 11 behold the days come saith the lord power thou, that i will send a famine in the land not a famine of bread nor a thirst of water but of hearing the words of the lord you see, in those days are quickly approaching. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, that example of um, a particular video that I did being, uh, I wasn't uh, given a strike, but getting a warning. And then, um, you know, the tube, uh, you know, in, in letting me know that it was a, I was getting a warning and the video removed. They also said that if I got another warning, that it would lead to a strike. So, you know, the things that we are uh, touching on and tapping into and uh, bringing forth through the spirit is really um, getting under the skin of, of E-Man, okay, in which he's going to use his technology uh, that the Heavenly Father, the Yahweh Shemayon Shai has given him more and more, including, you know, his certain algorithms and certain things that he, um, you know, has the ability to do um, as far as, you know, so-called monitoring and checking this, uh, 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 his these sites and his technology. He's going to actively uh, move to um, persecute the truth and the word and to ultimately uh, remove it. That's like I said, it's according to biblical prophecy. Um, continuing on, Amos 8, 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. See, and, you know, this is uh, speaks to and why we and why we speak to the importance of getting it now, man, while the getting is good, you know, because in the same way there's prophesied and surely will come to come to pass that the family of the word will come. Um the the seeking of the true word, the true understanding uh, of the scriptures, um the holy and uh, uh the Holy Spirit and Yahweh Shem Yahweh access to those things and the understanding will not be forever, man. And it's going to lead to a, a place in a state of confusion for those who uh, don't take heed now. Um, continuing on, Amos 8 and 13. In that day shall the fair virgins and young men faint for thirst. You see, and this is going to include everybody, man, okay? Men, women, children, uh, uh, adults, uh, the young, the old, you know, it's going to include everyone, all right? And, uh, you know, ultimately, it's going to be through um, mercies from Yahweh Shai that those um, 
who we, who who will be able to withstand in that day have uh, utilized however much time that the Heavenly Father has given them, whether it be a lot of time, you know, relatively speaking, or a short amount of time, but I've used that time in order to do their best to get built up in the spirit for the things that are coming that are coming down the pike, man. Okay. Uh, now this, this is a book of Deuteronomy chapter ten, start verse twelve. And now Israel would doff the Lord Yahweh Shai that power require of thee. But to fear the Lord Yahweh Shai thy power to walk in all his ways, and to love him and to serve the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. And see, that's and that's what's required of us from Yahweh Shai is to um, fear the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, walk in his ways, serve him in love. Um, and, you know, with all that we have, man, okay? Keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability, you know what I'm saying, continuously uh, each day going forward. You know, that's what the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, ask and requires of us, man, okay? And that's not a grievous tax, you know? Um, being in this world, in this wicked society, it may be difficult at times, you know, and, you know, dealing with the war um, between the spirit and the flesh it may be difficult, but, you know, um, it's not grievous, you know, at the same time. Continuing on Deuteronomy 10 and 14, Behold, the heaven and the heaven of heavens is the Lord, Yahweh Shalom, Shalom, thy powers, the earth also, with all that therein is. See, so the Heavenly Father, you know, pretty much uh, owns everything. You know, he, you know, the heavens, the skies, the heavens of heavens, the spiritual realm, okay, and the earth and all that is on the earth. You know, saying the the the, the bonsai Yahweh Shalom, 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 um, is in all, man. You know, in control of all. You know, continuing on, verse Deuteronomy ten and fifteen. Only the Lord, Yahweh Shai, had a delight in thy fathers to love them, and he chose their seed after them, even you above all people, as it is this day. See, he chose their seed after them, see, so their seed after them, even you above all people, as it is this day. See, so the covenant is still um, enacted, okay, until this day, and with the seed after them being the seed, the uh, chosen seed line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Continuing on. Deuteronomy 10 and 16. Circumcise therefore the foreskin of your heart and be no more stiff necked. For the Lord, Yahweh Shai, your power is power of, of gods and Lord of lords, a great God, a mighty and terrible, which regardeth not persons nor taketh reward. And here's the point Deuteronomy 10 and 18. He doth execute the judgment of the fatherless and widow and loveth the stranger and giving him food and raiment. And that was um uh, not necessarily not necessarily the main point of that that uh section of um of scripture, but it's definitely definitely applicable as well, speaking towards the family on the word. Deuteronomy 10 and 18, he doth execute the judgment of the fatherless and widow and loveth the stranger and in giving him food and raiment. And the thing about the Heavenly Father is not only will um, he continue to uh, uh, show his uh, connection with the chosen, okay, uh, 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 of the chosen, so to speak, the, the remnant seed of the chosen, okay, he's also he's also um not is no longer gonna to, to to hold back judgment, man. Okay, it's gonna bring down judgment upon all in which we need to be very understanding and aware of that. Okay, especially with the coming and the um you know the actual um prophecy of the family of the word being fulfilled. We need to be very um Understanding and locked into the fact that yeah, the Heavenly Father is dealing with certain people, and a certain seed, and a certain uh, um, portion of a certain people. Okay, and like well, like we, I spoke about that uh, or earlier in that Deuteronomy, you know, the Most High requires obedience of us, man. Okay, so while we have, while we have the opportunity to get it, while getting is good, man, we need to go ahead and get it. 
okay? Because that family is coming, man. Okay. Continuing on, Isaiah 55 and 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. See, and, you know, we may question certain things, you know, or not fully understand certain things or moves that the Heavenly Father, how about you, know, is doing, but that's because his ways are not our ways, man. His thoughts are not our, not our thoughts, you know, even going to the feminine word. The famine is coming because the Most High wants the famine to come, you see? Continuing on, Isaiah 55 and 10. For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth in bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. And that includes the famine of the word, okay? The famine is spoken about, okay, in the scriptures, okay? And we see uh, and we see and recognize the signs and even now at this point, the actions, okay, of E to that are moving towards that famine. Same way the water coming down and the Heavenly Father is control of the elements and, and you know, and gives them their, their season and their purpose, you know, within um, his creation. Okay, the, the, the word is going forth and it's coming out and it's... Uh, um, we have access to it. All of us of Israel have access to it to um, build build ourselves and get girded up while we may, you know. But when that famine comes, you have to move with with what you have, man. Okay, you have to you have to move with the oil that you've accumulated, with those talents you've accumulated, and um, you know you you have to you have to move on from there, man. And and you know really um, rely even more on Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai to. Continue to guide you through the through the spirit, man. Okay, and to uh, uh, um, deliver you and us from our from our temptations and our situations. All right, so I'm gonna finish off in the book of John, chapter six. This is John six. I'm gonna start at verse twenty six. Yahweh Shai answered them and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, ye seek me not because ye saw the miracles, but because ye did ye did eat of the loaves and were filled. And see. This is well, man. We have to, you know, myself included, um, not see things from a carnal perspective, work to see things more and more from a spiritual perspective. You know, that's what Yahweh Shai is saying here. Okay, because yes, Yahweh Shai fed um, you know, the the multitudes, you know, through through the 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 few um Loaves of bread, lo loaves of bread, or the few pieces of fish he was able to, through his spiritual power, multiply them in order to feed uh, the masses, feed the multitude. He even turn water into wine. You know, I'm just you know using the, the 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 carnal food situations to highlight a point that Yahweh Shai is making here, in which Yahweh Shai did a great number of miracles. You know, healing and uh, disappearing and uh, uh, you know, uh, doing like direct visions, like, you know, like spiritual visions, like in the moment, you know what I'm saying? He did, you know, hiding himself. He did walking on water. I mean, the list goes on and on, you know, but at this point, at right now, at this point in John six, he was highlighting the fact that the spirit and the heavenly father, how about I allowed him to do so many things that, you know, certain people witnessed, but they weren't continuing to follow him or uh, uh, looking to him because of the power that he had. They were worried about uh, because of the power that he had as a whole on a macro on a macro level. They were worried about y Yahweh Shai on a, a micro level of just something carnal and simple as eating in which what the Heavenly Father is, will, will take care of, of your needs, man, um, especially when. You're doing uh, uh, right by him, you see. So I started to say that, you know, with the famine coming, you know, we need to really be in tune with, you know, more spiritual things and more spiritual movements and, you know, things that are uh, growing and evolving through the spirit versus continuing to uh, rely on the, the carnality of the physical 
realm in the physical eye. Okay, keep continuing on. John 6 and 27. Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him hath the most high CLT. So, you know, just not only not seeing and focusing so much on carnal things, but also not, um, but, 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 um, also focusing on the spiritual things and understanding that, you know, we're getting, we're getting this growth and understanding through, uh, that the heavenly father and the Holy spirit, but also through our Lord, you know, Yahweh Shai. Okay. Um, and which, you know, we have it for a limited time because that famine is coming. All right. We have access to continue to grow in that in the in the, the the you know the stream of you know you know living water so to speak you know for a limited time in which it gets to a point you have to you will have to move with uh, what you've accumulated man all right through the spirit John six and twenty eight then said they unto him what shall we do that we might work the works of God verse twenty nine Yahweh shall answer and said unto them this is the work of God that ye believe on him whom whom he have sent. See, so, you know, just big takeaway, man, you know, as uh, the famine of the word, as we move closer and closer to the in intensification of the famine of the word, and, um, you know, ultimately, you know, E pulls the plug on this, on, uh, 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 on this thing, man, you know, uh, the work will continue on, you know, it's, it's going to continue on through the true believers in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, and the Holy Spirit, and the true believers of Yahweh Shai, man, okay, because he is the door, he is the way, he's the access point, okay, to get us to the Heavenly Father, man, and ultimately to get us uh, uh, the free and clear, okay, to be saved in the oncoming destruction that is surely to come, okay, so Lord willing, you edified, once again, before I close out, I would like to give all glory and praises to Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rechakodash, double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone who lead teaching real well. Love and honors to my fellow occupational word and true faith and succeed across the four corners. Until next time, Shalom.